Welcome to West Country Wanderings and welcome to the Roman town of Sirencester in Gloucestershire, Corunium Dominium. We're going to have a look today in the town, around the town. I'm going to take some photographs, but first, before we start off, just brought you here to the Roman Amphitheatre just behind me. We'll have a look inside of that in a moment. And it's probably the second largest Roman amphitheatre in the whole of Roman Britain. It looks magnificent. So why not join me here again on West Country Wanderings, looking at the town of Sirencester. So this is probably the best preserved Roman amphitheatre in the entirety of the West Country Wanderings region that I cover, West Country area. It's absolutely magnificently preserved. Considering the amount of building that went on in Sirencester in the 60s and 70s with ring roads, new housing developments skirting the town, because Sirencester has a legacy of being a crisscross of roads and that of course is from Roman times when you have roads down to Bath across to well it's Aikman Street that goes and then one's up to the north as well so it, it's at the hub like a spider's web of roads and that legacy is carried on in modern days as we've moved away from railways sadly into the road era that we did in the 60s and 70s so extensive road building carried on but yes this fantastic amphitheatre here still survives so what type of events did the romans use this amphitheatre for was it for plays well sadly no we don't know exactly what it was used for this one here in sirencester but from similar ones and excavations archaeological evidence we know that things like bull baiting and animal shows, gladiatorial events, you've probably seen that from films, Hollywood films, although of course they always hype things up. But yes, it would certainly have been probably bloody events that would have taken place back in Roman days here in Corinium. Now in 1780, one Samuel Rudder, who I believe was a local man, started excavations on this site and then he came up with the theory that it was indeed Roman. Well, not a theory because now because of the extensive one. And there were extensive excavations in more modern times in between 1962 and 1963 and indeed in 1966. There is an excellent Roman mu museum which I can't recommend highly enough if you have a trip here to Sirencester called the Corinium Museum. And a lot of the artefacts that have been found here at the amphitheatre here in Sirencester are on display at the Corinium Museum. So when was that magnificent amphitheatre theatre here at Corinium built? Well, we don't know the exact date, but it was probably the second century AD, and it was built on the site of a former limestone quarry. Obviously, quarrying took place here. To build the town, there was a town here, well, a small settlement prior to Roman times, but they extensively built it up as a, a military garrison, as well as being a significant settlement in Roman Britain. It could hold about 8,000 spectators and it's one of the finest examples of an amphitheatre in the whole of Roman Britain. Now the town lies just over that way. There's now a modern footbridge which I'll go over to enter the town proper. And it would have been from that direction for what was then known as Bath Gate because obviously it was the road heading down towards the 
Aquasulis, the other Roman city in this area, Roman city of Bath, that the spectators would have come from the town into this site. When the Romans withdrew in five, uh, 5th century AD, the site was then used as a marketplace and indeed the abbot of Cirencester later used it for breeding rabbits. Well sadly the weather's turned a little bit drizzly, I'm going to head back to my car, grab a sandwich and then uh, hopefully the weather will start to dry up and then we'll head down towards Cirencester Park and then have a tour of the town here in Cirencester. So when you leave the amphitheatre, before you get to the footbridge which takes you over the ring road, you go through this delightful wood and you wouldn't believe how close we are to the town centre here of Sirencester. This is a wonderful green space right near the urban edge. So it's actually called Quern's Wood. There's also a uh, open space here, like a playing field, and they've got those gym kits. So yeah, Quern's Wood, first community woodland in Sirencester. On the sign it also says there's lots of yew trees which I've seen going around. There's one really old tree there. As, they, as you probably know, they can live up to a thousand years old. And they're also used, although they're poisonous uh, trees, they are actually indeed used in some cancer treatments. So we're now in, coming up Cicely Hill, Cicely, Cicely, not sure. And if you cast your mind back to, if you, certainly if you watched my, my Cotswold Walks number nine when I did the circular walk around Kemble, railway station in the village, we came across Haley Wood, which is kind of, a, I, guess, I think I said, an annex of Sirencester Park. Well, we're making my way up now to Cicely Gate, which is the main entrance to Sirencester Park. So I thought I'd just give you a taster. Can't cover all of it, it's a huge, how many? Hectares did I say it was? I can't remember. I'll drop it in below. It's a lot. Seven thousand, six, six and a half, seven thousand hectares. In uh, very old money, that's uh, fifteen thousand acres. If you still use acres, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll put that in below as well. Prefer things in acres. But uh, yeah, we did that from Kemble, and you did the complete loop around there, and you saw Haley Wood, and then. This is the main entrance. As I say, it's not a right of way to correct. It is private land, but there are permissive paths which only open at certain times of the day. Currently, I think they're eight till six, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m., but please check the website before visiting. That may well change as we get into the winter months. So we're now in Sirencester Park and just behind me here was what is known as the Broad Avenue. Sirencester Park is made up of many avenues which crisscross right through the heart of this fabulous estate here in Sirencester in the Cotswolds. Now uh, here we have a magnificent orchard right in the heart of Sirencester, we'll say heart of it, only scratching the surface. It's a beautiful 
Cotswold uh, cottages right down there and a dovecot over there as well but you can't get into that area because it is private there's only certain footpaths that you can walk on through this estate and say it's a permissive footpath and not a public right of way. What I'm going to do now as I say I've only scratched the surface here there is a lake some large houses a tower, lots of other things in Sirencester Park. I will come back to Sirencester Park and devote an entire video to it today, just giving you a flavour of Sirencester today. What I'm going to do now is head into the town centre and across to St Mary's Church to have a look at the Abbey grounds there. Now, like what we saw, the amphitheatre here in Sirencester early in the video. We've also got a section of the original Roman town wall just on the edge of Abbey Grounds here in the town centre. Just have a closer look. Well, they have actually found here a horse harness, a bone cone and a statue of the Mercury, the excavations that have been made along this section of the original Roman war that protected and defended the Roman town here of Corinium Dobinium. Well, that brings us to the end of our video tour of Roman town of Sirencester in Gloucestershire here today. If you liked it then, please click like. If you didn't, well, don't click like. <laughs> also, you can add comments in, if you, particularly if you visited different parts of the Cotswolds or indeed the greater West Country area that I cover on my channel. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget, I've also got that Facebook group. If you go onto Facebook and put in West Country Wanderings, click on join and then I'll be along there to invite you into the group where you can share your own videos and photographs of different parts of the West Country that you visited yourself and you can put on recommendations on there perhaps places you've been to to visit walks places you've been to to eat and recommends on that love to hear from you on that as well until next time West Country Wanderings take care of yourselves look after yourselves and I hope to see you on the channel again very very soon all the best for now take care bye bye mm -hmm.